So let's look at the uh, following example um, of deriving the uh, angular velocity when we know the uh, position function as a function of time. Um, so we have a disk which is rotating about its central axis and the angular position um, theta as a function of time is given by the function minus 1 minus 0.6t plus 0.25t squared. So first, let's find omega. By definition, omega is equal to the time derivative of the position uh, function with respect to time. And so when we substitute the actual expression for the position function, we get ddt of minus 1 minus 0 0.6 times t plus 0 0.25 times t squared. So when uh, we do the derivative, we get the following result. Now let's find the instantaneous velocity at times t1 equal to minus 2 seconds, t2 equal to minus uh, to 0 seconds, and t3 equal to 2 seconds. So at t1 equal to minus 2 seconds, the angular velocity is equal to minus 1.6 radians. Uh, the result we get by substituting the time, minus 2 seconds, into the above expression for the angular velocity. Then at t equal to 0 seconds, the angular velocity is minus 0 0.6 radians per second. And finally, at t3 equal to 2 seconds, the angular velocity is equal to 0.4 radians per second. Now let's find the angular acceleration of the disk alpha. So the angular acceleration by definition is equal to the time derivative of the angular velocity, and so that is the time derivative of the expression for the angular velocity which we got already. And so when we do the time derivative of that expression, we end up with the angular acceleration being 0 0.5 radians per second squared. Next, let's find the uh, average angular velocity between uh, minus 2 seconds and 2 seconds. So the average angular velocity is defined as the difference between two uh, angular positions divided by the difference of the time stamps at those two angular positions. So substituting the two time um, the two times into the expression for the position function uh, and subtracting them leads us to this giant result, to this pretty long expression. However, when you do the math, you end up with negative 4.475 uh, radians per second. We can calculate one more thing, and that is the angular position uh, as the disk rotates at any point of time. So let's uh, calculate the angular position at t equal 3 seconds. So replacing the time t uh, 3 seconds into the expression for the angular position gives us that the uh, angular position at 3 seconds is minus 0.55 radians. Let's see uh, what is this um, angular position in degrees. And so converting... Uh, minus 0.55 radians into degrees yep, uh, is done by um, remembering that one full revolution has 360 degrees or also 2 times pi radians and so the end result of the conversion is minus 31.5 degrees.